Twitter is it like a beta form or is it? It's not exactly translated. Or um, so the desktop version of desktop version of it is translated. Mm -hmm. Um, so. Uh, so this beta version is, is sort of... I don't really know what that means. I just thought it sounded high-tech. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think anyone knows what it means. It really means like a, a, it's test, not ready, a test version that isn't the final version. Mm -hmm. So if there's any problems with it, don't attack us kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, unfortunately for the minoritized languages, well, the minority languages, uh, so the smaller, uh, some of the lesser spoken languages, uh, sometimes... The, the, the translations of the websites are actually left in the beta version of the website uh, for indefinitely. eternity and indefinitely yeah, okay. and it's never brought into like a, this is the stable version of it okay. um, so yeah it's basically just uh, just a way to not finish it mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but I do th I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if it is actually in beta anymore because they have one of the things you noticed uh, in the sort of bigger projects that Unrevocative did um, some of the companies and have actually made, sorry just to be clear that's just <laughs> Raggle Tiger Group. That's just a bunch of people who kind of got together, all wanting the same aim of translating. Like it's not like an official thing. It's just. Uh, is it? It's not. No. It's, no it's, it's there's no no funding as far as I'm aware. Okay. I'm sorry, I've got no. No. <laughs> there's no, no funding. It's just. I think basically. This is all voluntary. It's all voluntary. So mm -hmm. some of the people involved it thought it might be a good idea to sort of pool our resources or to sort of, just to have a group that might be able to speak officially on behalf of those translations and mm -hmm. be able to talk about them and talk about sort of the good things and also develop a house style and sort of be able to leverage the translation that were already done to use to use in other in other, in other fields and that kind of thing mm -hmm. um, and basically yeah, it's all volunteer um, although most like most of the people involved in it uh, are either professional translators or have like a really high standard of uh, translation oh, yeah, skills well, yeah. um, and sometimes maybe even higher than people you'd be able to employ to do it uh, because of the sort of internal checks and Kevin Scott is like a Professor Who is Kevin Scott? Obviously, in, I know, but uh, tell everyone who Kevin Scott. He's a professor of mathematics in Saint uh, Louis in America. I think he's coming to Ireland next year for a Fulbright. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Uh, so he's a maths whiz and sort of computer whiz, and he's created loads of resources for Irish and for loads of other sort of minoritized languages as well, which is brilliant. Um, and he's coming to Corna in the Gaeltacht on uh, on and um, to create more resources, but not Alexa, unfortunately. Alexa. Oh yeah. yeah what like would that. you call Alexa if it was in Irish? Um, I'm not sure. Um, people, are, it has to be a name that's sort of similar to a name, uh, an extant name, but one that isn't too similar, because or one that isn't doesn't exist, because otherwise people will wake it up all the time. Is that why they picked Alexa? I assume so. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it sounds like a female name, but yeah, there's uh, issues about whether the female voice is more subservient, or people are willing to ask the voice to do things for them because it's a female voice. Is that's not that's true, a, is it? Apparently, that is. Yeah. So I think apparently, I think all the the voice assistant voices have like a female or female or female like voice and the reason that it's behind they analyze people and people were more willing to ask the machine to do things if it had a female voice yeah you can look that up we can look that up and discuss it later on but that's uh, shocking yeah. um, oh firefox firefox sorry. you can get yes. firefox you're kevin scannell uh, how could you yeah, forget and yeah. um, that's available in irish and i only got that recently when i got my new computer i had chrome before that um but it's great because it and this will bring me on to the next point which is that the more online um, services you use in Irish, the more you'll just be able to talk about them because mm. you're so used to the terms. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so... But it's, uh, it's not even that. Obviously, th there's some things like people say, like, oh, there's no point in doing that, but... No point like, in doing that. In, in having, you know, any of these apps or services in Irish. But you... But they'd say there's no they're point they're to Irish. Well, they would say that. They would say that. Um, but th there's lots of reasons for it because it sort of familiarizes yourself even with the spelling of it, mm -hmm. the structure of these kind of languages. Yeah. It means that if you want to create something like a meme, then you have this structure that that you're able to to, yeah. to, to, to pull on and, and to use in, use in the thing or the word you know clibal the chara to your friend tagged you yeah or you know her ex derelish and gorgeous <laughs> um, and even things like you're hardly shamed over you're hardly shamed quite committing you're hardly you're hardly more like one more in court yeah. Uh, but even in th th things like I know on Come Away like in UCD years ago had a t-shirt and it was like is smallet and shut and or the mm -hmm. um, and things like that is in so the language of the internet like really does seep into the, the rest of the world yeah like right. I found in the galley there was always like oh queer 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 They'll send me a friend request. That's actually a bit of a yeah. So queer, queer hard to say. Yeah. Shin, shin the dirt, like. And people are like, oh, that means yeah. friend request, and it's like, well, you can tell who doesn't have 
and there's like or <laughs> the internet Irish. on Irish because they don't know how to say these things. That's like, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but there's so many like yeah, clips yeah. or like her quick clip room, like tag me in that. Mm. Like, very important for daily life now because yeah, we use the internet so well. So like things like traditional sort of um, sort of like agricultural terms are really like just you know, people don't know the name. Like I don't know. I'm very interested in words and I don't know the names of loads of different kinds of things around the farm or tools, which used to be like a really really central part uh, mm. of Irish. So it means that there's another sphere of language that you can you can be comfortable in and that it'll sort of then maybe affect or be able to be used in different things when you use these terms metaphorically in other ways and jokes and spelling and writing and that.